Number 16, this is 1991 Lincoln Cent over struck on a 1991 P Roosevelt dime, graded in mint state 66 by NGC. According to Stax Powers, brilliant silver gray surfaces with plenty of undertype discernible on both sides. The obverse of the cent overstruck on the reverse of a dime. Faint traces of dime's date are discernible, and its P mint mark is clear when observed with aid of loop. A scarce double denomination error from the modern US mint. It was sold for $990. Number 15, this is 1964 Kennedy of dollars struck on a Washington quarter planchet, graded in mint state 61 by NGC. This error coin weighs 10.1 grams, while 90% silver half of 1964 should weigh 12.50 grams. Well preserved with brilliant satiny mint luster, the strike is almost perfectly centered on the planchet with sharp definition of the date and border legends. Pronounced softness is seen on the reverse, most visibly at the rims. Scarce and desirable, it ended up selling for $1320. Number 14, this is 1948 D. Franklin half dollar in MS66 plus condition. Comes with CEC label on the holder for exquisite quality. NGC assigned full bell lines designation. The full bell lines designation is used for Franklin half dollars to describe a coin that has complete and uninterrupted lines on the reverse. The bell lines are horizontal lines. On the Liberty Bell, a coin with full bell lines is considered to be a fully struck coin and is therefore more desirable to collectors. Number 13, this is 1945 S. Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 68. Both sides exhibit subtle but colorful oil slick patina that is accented at the selected border areas by some deep russet brown toning. Although not quite full at the center of reverse, the strike is well above the average than that often seen on 45 S. Nickels. As dictated by a super grade rating, there are no marks or other surface distractions. It was sold for $1,320. Number 12. And here is elusive proof nickel. 1951 5 cent piece in PR67 condition with ultra cameo and star designations. The 1951 Jefferson nickel proofs had a mintage of only 57,000 coins which is relatively low for a Jefferson nickel. The ultra cameo designation means that the coin has a particularly strong contrast between the frosted foreground and the mirrored background. As a result of its rarity and condition, the 1951 Jefferson nickel PR67 is highly sought after a coin by collectors. Price for these coins can range from several hundred dollars to several thousand dollars, depending on exact grade and condition. This one was sold for $1680. Number 11, this is 1964 D. Lincoln Sands struck on a silver dime planchet, graded in mint state 65 by PCGS, well centered in strike virtually. The entire Lincoln design is evident despite the slight size differential between the cent dies and dime planchet. Only at the borders do we note a touch of softness, but even there, at least partial detail is evident to the design elements. Satiny and smooth with dusting of pale gold to otherwise light silver gray surfaces. This rare wrong planchet error hails from a chaotic period of coinage operations that the United States made. For the following year, we'll see the introduction of a copper nickel to regular issue dime and quarter series. It was sold for $1920. Number 10. This is 1940 proof Lincoln Sand with exquisite eye appeal, graded as PR67 read by PCGS. According to NGC, the 1940 proof cents are mostly a replay of 1939 in terms of mintage and overall availability, but they are even more rare with cameo contrast. Cent sales always outran those of the other four proof denominations, since so many collectors specialize in this series. But the reactivity of copper coats, rapid toning and spotting, finding pristine gems will always be a challenge. This one ended up selling for $2,880. Number 9. This is 1956 Jefferson Nickel in MS67 plus condition. 
with five full steps, according to Jaime Hernandez. There are about nine different dates in the circulation struck Jefferson Nichols series with, with mintage under 10 million. The 1956 P. Jefferson Nickel has a mintage of over 36 million, making it one of more common dates in the series. This full steps gem ended up selling for $2,081.25 with buyer's fee. Number 8. Here is 1921 Buffalo Nickel struck on a cent planchette. This error coin was cleaned according to PCGS, therefore assigned and uncirculated details, without grade by a grading service. Due to significant size difference of planchettes, letterings of obverse are struck off the flan. This elusive nickel was sold for $3,120. Number 7. This is 1909 Lincoln Scent in MS67 red condition, with a smooth frosty texture, bright golden red mint color and razor sharp striking detail. This lovely superb gem would make a fitting addition to a high grade typeset of the first year issues. It was sold for $4,320. Here is 1960 Jefferson Nickel in MS66 condition with full steps, satiny and lightly toned surfaces present delicate champagne gold iridescence to a ewer. Remarkably well struck for the issue, we note impressively full detail from the rims to the centers. This Philadelphia Mint issue of which 55,416,000 pieces were produced, inaugurate a challenging decade in Jefferson Nickel series one of which includes many issues that are notorious strike rarities in certified full steps category. The 1960s one of these. It was sold for $5,040. Number 5. This is 1968D Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. The 1968D Washington Quarter has the lowest mintage for any circulation strike quarter struck from 1965 to date. Although it has the lowest mintage, it is still fairly common, and examples can still be found in circulation. In MS68 conditions, they are almost unheard of, with only 14 specimens certified by PCGS and none being graded finer. A non graded finer. This one was sold for $5,510.25 with buyer's fee on September 3rd, 2023. Number 4 here is 1955 Lincoln Scent with double diop verse, graded in mean state 62 red and brown by PCGS. Clear cut doubling is evident on all of verse letterings. No close inspection required. The presence of considerable mint orange color sets this premium quality example apart from the majority of mean state 1955 DDO scents. Generous grey-brown patina is also noted, surfaces with satiny texture, is pleasingly smooth in hand. It was sold for $4,320. Number 3. This is 1977 Washington Quarter stuck on a silver clad planchette, graded as SP61 by PCGS. Simply put, this is one of the most significant mint errors. Whereas 1977D Washington Quarter is a copper nickel clad issue, this piece was erroneously struck on a silver clad, aka 40% silver planchet, used for the sum of the San Francisco Mint's bicentennial issues of 1976, a transitional error and a term reserved for a special types of wrong planchet errors that involve coins struck on a planchet from previous or following years production involving a chance in a metallic composition. This specimen was sold for $12,000. Number 2. Here is 1957 Lincoln Sentinel 67 Plus red condition. According to NGC, like so many issues of 1950s, a very high mintage has left the 1957p cent quite common in fully red gem condition. Still at MS67 red level, examples become scarce. The usual culprits are tiny black spots called fly specks and slight staining or toning streaks. This allows the specimen display where it needs service preservation and striking level though. Grade was later proven by CEC. It ended up selling for $21,947.62 with buyer's fee on September 3rd, 2023. 
Number one, as this is 1918 Lincoln sent in MS-68 wet condition, this virtually flawless example really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Silky smooth surfaces exhibit vivid mint color of beautiful pinkish red. The striking detail is razor sharp to full throughout the design, and the eye appeal is extraordinary. Lincoln sense high quality mint state examples are scarcer than those of 1916 and 1919. Near the pinnacle of numismatic preservation and quality, this full red gem is one of some utmost rarity. It was sold for $55,200. Thanks for watching this video. For more captivating numismatic content, subscribe to our channel and activate bell button below this video. And do not forget to hit the like button. Have a nice day.